Hello everyone, this is Alex USA Days, and I have a question in chat that is asking, is there a way I can be successful in QA industry without a degree? Uh, so I'm going to read the chat GPT answer, and then I'm going to give you my opinion if it's actually possible to be successful in QA industry without degree, uh, computer science degree, or any degree whatsoever. Okay, so the chat GPT answer is... Yes, it is possible to be successful in QA uh, industry without formal degree. Many companies prioritize skills, experience, and expertise over formal education when it comes to hiring QA professionals. Here are some steps you can take to build a successful career in QA industry without a degree. So first is learning fundamentals, understand the basics of software development, testing methodologies, and QA processes. There are many online resources, including blogs, tutorials, and courses to help you learn these fundamentals. Second. Acquire relevant skills, develop essential skills such as problem solving, critical thinking, and attention to detail. Learn pro popular programming languages like Python or Java and familiarize yourself with testing tools and frameworks such as Selenium, JUnit, or TestNG. Third, gain hands-on experience, work on personal projects or contribute to open source projects to gain practical experience in software testing and QA. This will help you build a portfolio to showcase your skills and knowledge. Fourth, Obtain certification, consider pursuing industry, recognize certifications such as ISTQB or certified software tester. The certificate can validate your skills and knowledge, making you more attractive to potential employers. Fifth, network. Attend QA meetups, conferences, and webinars to network with professionals in the industry. Join online forums, discussion groups, and online social media platforms where you can learn from others, share your experiences, and make valuable connections. Six, start with entry-level positions, apply for entry-level QA positions or internship, even if they're not directly related to your desired role. Gain experience in the field will help you transition to more specialized career roles over time. Uh, seven, stay updated, continuously improve your skills and stay updated with the latest trends, tools, and technologies in the QA industry. This will enable you to adapt to ever-changing software testing landscape and maintain competitive edge. By following the steps and consistently working on improving your skills and knowledge, you can build a successful career in the QA industry without a formal degree. Um, so yeah, I think I think it's a nice uh, way how ChatGPT kind of summarize everything and um, confirms like steps you can take to become QA engineer without a degree. I wanted to add from uh, my end, like after working in the industry for ten plus years. Uh, I only recently got my degree in computer science and uh, associate's degree in computer science. Uh, a year back, I got my degree. Before that, I switched multiple positions without a degree. Um, the thing is, in college, there is no uh, course. There's really no degree you can obtain to become quality assurance engineer. There's nothing like really that you get you graduate and you, now you're a QA engineer so this is actually one of the new industries or positions that industry doesn't really cover and formal education doesn't cover uh, that's how that is position that you have to transition into so there are a lot of substitute education uh, that was created to help with the gaining knowledge required to get the position and one of them uh, one of the forms of that is like boot camps so when I started as a Q engineer, I started uh, out of boot camp. So when I came to the United States, uh, I didn't even have any education. I didn't have any local education. So I didn't you know, transfer any education here. So essentially, boot camp was my education. So I was showing boot camp and then uh, my experience working as a freelance QA. And that got me my first job. And after that, I kind of grew through the job. So then my resume uh, was what I was showing in interview process of what got me the jobs. So I didn't have any education at all um, in computer science or any kind of education up to recently. Now, um, is computer science degree helpful? Yeah, sure, it is helpful. There are some jobs that require you to have an American education. So jobs that are really regulated, jobs that uh, have some, uh, like, Maybe secret access or special requirement government jobs, those actually might not be able to hire at all if you don't have like United States education. Uh, but most of the jobs don't really care. What they look uh, during the interview process at, they look at the how are you dealing with the P 
people, how you work with the team, right? They will look at your soft skills and they will interview for your hard skills. Uh, what do you know about testing? What you've tested? So essentially your resume uh, and the interview process becomes you know, the most important part of are you going to get hired or not? Uh, education comes secondary. There's no requirement because there's no way to obtain a QA degree. P most of the people transition to the profession. Uh, so if you ask me if there's a way someone can be successful in the QA industry without a degree, yes. Uh, continuous education and learning, attending boot camps, getting certifications, and just working in the, in the industry, uh, learning the field and growing in the field in the industry. Uh, you don't need education for that. Uh, I'm not saying education is not useful. It's definitely useful. It's good to have a degree, but it's absolutely not a requirement. Uh, after 10 plus years in the industry, uh, I've switched multiple jobs, interviewed at multiple positions. Only maybe a handful, a couple of them actually required a degree because of those like government regulations for the industries or government jobs. The rest, especially when you work with the startups and a lot of companies that are hiring our startups, they will just interview you and if you're a good fit uh, if you like if they like you they look at your resume your skills they will hire you um i think this trend also goes well with the development even though it's quite uh different in in, in terms of formal education for a developer if you're a developer it means you know you have academic knowledge you have a computer science degree but still uh, a lot of startups they look past that they look at what you actually did what your as what is your actual experience what you can do not your education because a lot of learning uh, in tech industry is actually coming from people attending boot camps uh, people uh, self teaching themselves on Udemy YouTube so self education is important part of tech industry for quality assurance uh, for developers for you know because this industry, the education never stops. Tools are changing, uh, technologies are changing, so you're always gonna be learning. Um, going to college and getting a degree on something that might not be even relevant now in the tech doesn't, doesn't give you much of uh, work experience and what you will be doing. So a lot of that is actually obtained on the job um, and through relative like boot camps and certifications that are up to date with the market trends and what's popular, what is actually happening in the industry. So uh, my answer to you, I, I mean, I agree with chat GPT and uh, just in general, you don't really need a formal degree to get into the QA industry, be successful in the QA industry. Uh, but what you need to realize is that you will have to continuously educate yourself and learn things self-taught or maybe getting like some certifications uh, and grow in the, in the industry, uh, learn up-to-date tools. Uh, aside for, from learning the tools, you might also want to grow as a QA engineer in a specific niche, in a specific industry, because uh, doing quality assurance for, let's say, Tesla is one thing, but doing quality assurance for some medical company is another thing. So aside from just tools on how to test, uh, tools that you will have to learn testing tools, uh, approaches how to test. You will also have to learn the product. And some fields, uh, you will have to gain expertise in those fields. Uh, let's say ba banking, finances, maybe some uh, international regulations if you work in the international company. So that knowledge you can't really get anywhere else aside from uh, on the job and learning about the job. Maybe you, know, you can have some uh, documents online that are available to read about and regulations, but it, it's um, quite hard to imagine that, you know, you're going for a computer science degree and you will be learning there in the college uh, some material on like international regulation on banking system that you will be testing. But people that stick into the industries that are regulated, aside from becoming uh, proficient QA engineers, they actually also become industry experts. And a lot of their expertise and value is actually coming from working in that industry for a long time and learning all of the standards and uh, criteria and the requirements that will be out of scope of any education. So there will be, uh, because they are so niche and they're specific to that industry. 
uh, when I was uh, working in Wi-Fi industry for testing, like a lot of stuff I, I just picked up and learned uh, based on uh, documentation that Wi-Fi Alliance had available for the members that the companies, semiconductor companies that were part of Wi-Fi Alliance and participated in the standard development. You can't really get any, you know, um, formal education on that at all. So um, just, yeah, having a degree is great, but not a requirement. And a lot of startups look past that. As long as you're a good fit, you do well in the interview, um, and you have the skills that they need for you to be, you know, for testing. Okay, hopefully this helps. Uh, this was Alex USA Days, and bye-bye.